So last night we got the news that came out that reportedly the Packers have been in trade talks and that initially the trade between the Raiders and the, and the Packers regarding Devontae Adams involved Darren Waller, but because of some kind of rule, um, they weren't able to actually include Darren Waller in the trade. I think because Devontae Adams being franchise tagged, hadn't signed the tender, um, for some reason they couldn't add another player in the trade. So now it looks like the Packers are trying reportedly to trade for Darren Waller. However, last night... Derek Carr came out and had something to say about this on Twitter. As you can see, responding to these rumors, he says, LOL, no chance. So clearly, Derek Carr is not the GM of the Las Vegas Raiders. He is not in control of, you know, all the personnel decisions that the Raiders make. But if I am the new Raiders GM, I don't see why, if Derek Carr clearly wants a player to stay, why you would then go out of your way and trade him. I think clearly relationships in the NFL are important, and while you obviously don't have to listen to everything a quarterback says, if a guy you just gave like a three-year extension to $120 million, if he wants a player to stay um, on this offense, a guy in Darren Waller who has produced for you in the recent past, I don't see why you go out of your way to trade him for you know like a second-round pick. Um, so I'm wondering if this trade is actually going to happen just because of that fact, and clearly, um, as I said yesterday, I want the Packers to make this trade. I would love to see Darren Waller come to Green Bay you know, for a second round pick, um, because I think when you look at his production the past few seasons, he has been a monster, and to add him to this Packers offense that clearly needs some more weapons, I think would be uh, insanely valuable, so I hope this trade gets done, but with Derek Carr saying that, um, I don't know if the Raiders will actually get it done, maybe that tweet means nothing, maybe the Raiders GM is like, yeah, Derek, we're actually already, this is already in the works, sorry, um, but you'd expect then, if the Raiders GM had decided, okay, we're going to make this trade, then now he's like, oh shoot, Derek Carr, uh, he may not like this, so maybe I need to go have some kind of discussion with Derek Carr to sort of help him understand why we're going to make this trade, and maybe he can convince Derek Carr to be like, okay, I guess that makes sense, I guess it's a smart move, because um, I think clearly you don't want your players, you know, being in control of every move, because um, I don't think that's obviously the uh, best way to do things, but I do think now in the NFL with players having more say with them, um, you know, being in more communication, I'd say with front offices, obviously with Aaron Rodgers and Brian Gutekunst communicating now, I think Derek Carr has, uh, you know, being there in Las Vegas with the Raiders for a while now, he does probably have some, you know, credibility when it comes to maybe some kind of moves the Raiders should make, obviously not all of them, but We'll see if this trade actually gets done, but I'm just not too sure it's going to happen. I hope it happens. I hope that the Raiders are like, you know what, Derek Carr, we don't care that you don't want him. We're trading him anyways because we think it's a good move. I hope that happens, but who knows what's going to happen here. We will see if the Packers actually come and make a trade this week. Um, clearly last year, it's, it's crazy to think that a year ago, it was, wasn't it last year's draft day when Adam Schefter came out with the report that you know Aaron Rodgers may try to like leave Green Bay, whatever that report was. Um, that made for a very interesting draft day. So who knows if anything will go down this week. We will see. Um, and I'll keep you guys up to date on this channel. If you guys haven't subscribed and you want to see Packers news, feel free to subscribe. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, um, Luke underscore Beller, I'm starting to post more Packers stuff on there. So if you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description as well. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.